Hey ya folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play Serious Sam HD The Second Encounter. And way last we left off, we are here in ancient South America. We aren't quite where we want to be to get the Holy Grail, but that's okay, we can get to a teleporter and use that to get to where we want to be, provided of course we can find the key in the Valley of the Jaguar. That of course presumes that we get to the Valley of the Jaguar, because Mendel is already sending its forces over to get us. Fortunately, we have some weapons, like these pistols, and the shotgun, and the rocket launcher, and the chainsaw! But for now, we're going to stick with the pistols, until we end up in a situation where we have to use the shotgun because there are too many enemies. At the moment, the range is really beneficial. Okay, someone has spawned. Ah! That is unfortunate. More? Nope, just one. Also, there is the uh, second pistol, if you didn't get it right at the beginning. I'm going to presume that there is something important up here. Probably a boulder that's going to crush my face. No? That'd be where I'd put something. Gives you a lovely view, though. There's blatantly something over there. So let us walk around and see what we can find. Mainly goodies. So I'm gonna grab this and it's gonna spawn enemies, because I know it will. No? Huh, okay. I was honestly expecting enemies. Ah. That might spawn enemies, though. Well, this is health. I'll take it. No? Huh. Alright. Also, that's sidestepping speed. We're pretty fast when it comes to sidestepping. Okay, we're gonna go around this structure. We're gonna look for goodies. There's gotta be some over here. Hmm. Nothing here. Nothing there. I'm really anticipating a fight. Game? You've got to have put this area here for some reason. Some nice thing? A boulder coming from over there? No? Not even a boulder? Okay. Absolutely nothing there. There's something over there, though. I can see it. It always pays to explore in a serious Sam game. There are often goodies off the beaten path that you should go and get. Should I grab the secret stuff now? Ooh, well, there are some shells there. I should probably grab them. I should probably grab them. That seems like a prudent idea. And I should, in fact, grab all this. Bullets, bullets, Tommy gun. Yep. Hi! That's unfortunate. Yep, I knew there was a reason why you were here. So, this one doesn't fire homing shots. Does, however, fire a huge amount of fireballs. And this gun really doesn't cut it, so you know what? Let's switch. Tommy gun! Ha ha! This gun, this gun does a bit better. I'm gonna use a lot of this ammo, but it'll be worth it if we have some ammo left. Come on! We are almost out of ammo. Yeah, we tried. Oh, you're firing a lot of shots there, but that softened you up. You're nearly out. I'm very glad that only this enemy spawned. Come on! Nearly done? Okay, as long as we keep sidestepping, we should be good. I don't want to use my rocket launcher. I have a feeling I'm going to use that uh, later in getting a scenery. Okay, you blowing up the scenery behind me, sir. Also, your feet are just not on the ground. Yay, we won! We won! You are huge! And now you are dust. So, this is the, uh, Aladran Reptiloid Highlander. 
A large four-handed reptile living at uh, a Ludron system in the constellation of Canis Major. The primitive race has agreed to fight for mental and exchange of spellcasting powers. The creature has self-propelled fireballs with primitive hoeing abilities. The Highlander race is significantly larger and more dangerous than the ordinary ones living in the plains. When furious, they cast their missiles in very quick succession. Avoid their indestructible missiles and don't get too close to them. Yeah, don't bother shooting the missiles. It won't work out. Also, I did waste a lot of ammunition on that foe, but it was worth it because we still have the gun. I was not going to use the shotgun against that. Maybe the rocket launcher, but uh, we didn't have that much ammo for the rocket launcher. We might get some more. Okay, what is around here? Well, there's this area there. There's also that there. So this is a place that obviously an ambush is going to appear from. This, however, is a little secret I do know. See that uh, obvious thing there? Yay! Oh no! Kill them! Kill them all! We do not like you! No! I know you probably have the faces of uh, various people who worked on the game, but uh, we are not giving you the chance to get close to us. You were probably involved in our, uh, in our getting stuck here for some reason, weren't you? No! Away! They take ages to die, by the way. Away! Okay. Now we'll go down here. Let's get a reload going. And what is down here? Secret Hall of Fame has been discovered. Also, ammo. Also, speakers? And... I don't remember this. What? I'm sure it won't take more than four to five hours. Ouch! Hmm. Oh! 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 than that presentation. So, seriously wanted, all these people here. They all worked on the game, and hey, they left the disco. That makes it all worth it. Dance, Sam, dance. Dance for the future of humanity. What am I doing? I should totally be trying to uh, save everyone. I'm off. I'm off. I'm sorry, but I should go. Oh, I know what happened now. Oh, I know why we crashed. It was them, wasn't it? I had a feeling it was them, and it was them. Yep. Yep. I hate crates. Secret crate buses, but yeah, they tried to come after me. And it went poorly. Yay! Not yay. Also, I'm going to save, because grabbing that has probably prompted something awful. In fact, replaced probably with, with definitely. Yep! 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 Can you stop spawning them? Nope! Look, I, I don't want to explode here, okay? Look, I said no! Game! Stop it! Don't want to blow up here! Stop it! All I wanted was rockets! That's all I wanted! What do you do? Spawn death! It's just rude! Just rude! Enemies to the right? 
Look, it's a massive area over there. There's got to be something in there. This would be where I'd spawn an enemy. It is beautiful, though. Can't see the uh, spaceship anymore. Oh, there's literally nothing here. Huh, okay. Just for scenery. Right, looks like we're finally going into that temple. Looks like we're going to regret going into that temple, because that temple is probably full of doom. There is an arena area there already. I can see it. I can absolutely see it. So, let's switch to a slightly better gun. The shotgun. Oh, the game is giving me... A sniper rifle! Oh! Not quite what I was anticipating. Bullets. Shells. We're stuck. Analyzing. Thanks. So, we're going to have to go in there. Oh! That's awkward. No, no. Stop. Stop. Ow, ow. Okay. Sniper rifle. Right, let's, uh, let's use this, shall we? Ah, we can right click to snipe. Excellent. Gotcha! Is that it? Not it, is it? Might be it. Anyway, let's have a look at what's been told us. First, a hint. I activated my ultrasound. No, 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 not that one. Okay, here's your chance to test that sniper rifle. Aim, stop breathing, gently squeeze the trigger, and watch them fall. I'll try! As for enemies, or weapons rather, there is an enemy we found. The Arachnoid Adult, a holy warrior from primitive race evolved from anthropods, extremely hostile due to their religious convictions, carries a chain gun with ammo replenisher in one hand. I really want that. We don't get it. Exoskeleton covers entire arachnid's body and provides good protection against bullets, explosives, and fire. Dangerous thing, do not approach too closely, will shoot through their own ranks in fury. Good to know! As for the weapons, we have the Thompson machine gun. Originally invented by General Thompson, this submachine gun has survived two world wars, and with recent improvements, it is back on its track. On the track. This old timer was modified to accept 5.56 ammo to be compatible with other standard infantry weapons, and the universal drum container can be filled with any standard ammo pack. Provides both rapid fire and controlled short bursts. Good to know! And the Raptor! 16mm sniper rifle! The Raptor sniper is one of the most powerful long range weapons in the world. The 16mm uh, mm armor piercing Kevlar coated bullets will pass right through most known armor types. It causes instant death to small and mid sized species. The Raptor has an automatic excess pressure exhaust mechanism that will lower the exit speed of the bullet when it is not fired from a balanced sniping, sniping mode. This provides maximum safety and minimizes injury to the weapon's wielder. Be sure to use the Raptor in sniping mode since it will deliver much more damage when fired this way. Using sniper on bigger nasties like biomechanoids, lava elementals is much less effective. Okay, so don't use it on them. Grab this. Okay. Ah! Hi. Yeah, harpies. Not as much. Good news! Got him. Got most of them. You here. Okay. Is that all of them? Did I get them all? Can I move forward now? Ah! Did you hear that sound? That is not a fun sound. No. Hi! Yeah, I'm gonna get this. Yay! We're moving fast! Hi! I'm just gonna... Oh, hi, you! I don't recognize you. Either way, I'm just gonna run around like crazy. Use our extreme. Oh! I'm actually faster than you now. For a little bit. Ah, the street speed's gone. It's gone now. Help! 
Oh, absolutely destroyed. I, I really need to grab more of the serious speeds. Really need to grab more of them. I knew death would come eventually, and here it came. Right. Okay, they're both stuck right now. They're not gonna stay stuck. Right. So again. Whoa, serious speed. We do this. We do it with you. Let's go to Gotcha. Oh yeah, you explode. Serious speed is gonna last forever. Grab another one. with this game being stuck in an arena you typically die the first time. Second time however, went a lot better. Also I clipped through that. It's okay. Let's have a look at the uh, enemies here. We have the beheaded rock tier, an executed Syrian soldier raised from the dead by mental. The Rocketeer carries his own head in one hand and receives audio-visual information fires one magic missile at a time from a low-power handheld launcher that are immune to own missiles. Yeah, they're not that dangerous, but in numbers they can be. Zumble from planet Razadnik. That is not someone I recognize. This is what you get when you introduce the concept of firearms to a creature who's got wisdom teeth problems. Mendel trained these brutes in, this dre in his dreaded Clint Eastwood Institute, which was named after a famous 20th century gun-wielding actor. He used, to build, he used to build discipline by telling them that if they didn't work hard, there's a typo there, they would end up taking pictures of bridges. They all graduated. That is a way to do it. They will fire one projectile in front of you, so watch out not to run into it. All right. And the Scythian Witch Harpy. A female clone of a long-extinct Scythian race. A witch harpy is trained in close combat and casting combat spells. Its flying ability allows it to reach otherwise unreachable positions and attack their enemies from above. When in large groups, make make minced meat with minigun or rocket them away. Take down individuals with a double-barreled shotgun. I don't have the shotgun yet that's double-barreled. I will, though. Also, there's more of those winged uh, boots. I don't need that yet. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab that. The armor certainly helped. But, ooh, more health. I don't think this stacks beyond 100, though, if memory serves. It does not. And that's more health. Okay. We're going to head up. We're not going to grab those boots. Actually, we'll grab the boots. Why not? Oh, 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 oh. I missed the boots. Woohoo! Yeah, it's a very wrecked ship. I do not want to go into an enclosed area, however, with this. So we're just going to run around from Actually, we're going to run around Meow. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Can I blow these up? No. Meow. Game does warn you when it's about to fade. Okay. There is a one health power up here. This blatantly tells me that something bad's going to happen. Yeah. 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 Thought so. Not gonna fool me. Ah, a new gun. A new gun. <laughs> now you're all fired. A flamethrower. A flamethrower? The XOP Flamethrower. This experimental weapon uses highly volatile napalm fuel to deliver a jet stream of flesh-penetrating flame. It is very effective for use on large masses, since the stream will engulf even partially hidden enemies. The fact that enemies will burn for a few moments after they've been hit makes this weapon even more effective. One might say it's a fire-and-forget type of thing. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. Clears large masses of enemies with this... Clear large masses of enemies with this weapon. Will do! 
Where are the large masses of enemies? Ah, oh, there they are. Well, there's some of them, what? Okay, there's a few. What about over here? I hear enemies. Okay, you're just stood there. Sir? Sir, you, you, you're still dead, by the way. You appear to be caught in a glitch, and unfortunately I cannot help you. I really, really cannot help you. You are very, very dead. You just haven't realized it yet. What with all of the fire? Alas. And so, when we come back, folks, we have a sniper rifle. And we have a flamethrower. And I'm really glad to see both of them. You know, I'm not really glad to hear, though. The sound of those enemies. We have 47 rockets. I should probably use some of these rockets at some point. I really should. Uh, the rockets are number five. That's six. That's seven. Okay. Okay. Five, six, seven. Gotcha. And so, when we get back, folks, uh, me and this uh, enemy here are going to have a bit of a chat. Or rather, it's just going to be dead, and I'm going to pretend to chat with it. And we'll go through that door. And probably die. Maybe. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. But I'll see you then. Later.